little boot review tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've been lucky enough to to live in a county where we've actually got a really great boot maker in Herring Shoes. And I've enjoyed a few of their boots and shoes in the past and I've featured them on the channel. So these um, lovely uh, embossed uh, tan brogues, the hawk's head, fantastic boot, reviewed those a couple of years ago. These pretty formal semi brogues, the Reading, um, not something I've actually done a full review on, but I featured it in a sort of a collection uh, video. Leather sole, um, slightly more formal than my normal style, but uh, actually predating my YouTube days. Those. But um, as I say, great to have a local resource such as that. Um, strangely, though, though they're only just down in Kingsbridge, um, I do tend to shop online. So that's how I pick up most of my shoes from them. Um, so on to today's purchase. This is the Windermere. Um, and it is from their, very much their premium line. So these are actually outsourced and made by Chini. Um, these are actually by far the most expensive boots in my collection. Uh, they're just under £400. Um, but if you know anything about Chini, you'll know actually they make a great boot and uh, that's actually a good price. So premium line, premium price, but no matter what uh, price point you come in at, um, with Herring, I do always find that you get that sort of experience where you're always certain that you've spent your money wisely, even if you're buying one of their budget lines. So in the box, you've got a nice little Herring branded uh, shoehorn, which is incredibly useful, certainly with boots, especially when they're new. Um, really helps you look after their structure, uh, their leather liners, um, so, and always nice to get a freebie. Um, nice little travel bags, so if you're ever travelling, um, you can protect your boots and indeed your other luggage by using those. So let's pop these out. As I say, another boot, slightly different style, so I was going for probably what I'd call a a sort of Oxford style, um, or certainly that's what I always call the uh, the style when you get any sort of toe cap detailing, um, without it being a brogue. Um, actually, on these, the, the toe cap is um, sort of false in terms of it's uh, stitched alone rather than sort of being a separate uh, leather structure. But yeah, a very very handsome uh, pair of burgundy boots. Um, these are very much of a country style. So there's a couple of features in here. One being the last, so these are a, a fairly generous um, sizing to go with a thicker pair of socks. These are a G fitting, so with a formal shoe and anything um, F, G or above, um, I always go almost down half a size. Um, so I'm down to a seven and a half on these, these fit great. Um, the wider last, the country last, allows you to wear a nice thick sock which is rather nice. The other countrified factor of these, I guess you call it, is the soles. So these have got a very nice um, commando, sort of waffle pattern, I guess you'd call it. Now these are actually made um, by a company called It's Hide. Um, never really come across them before, um, but interestingly, having Googled them, I can understand why they've been selected. So these soles are uh, also made in the UK. So these are Northamptonshire uh, company making these soles. And these are sort of hard wearing, shock absorbing, um, outdoors uh, soles. So for me, if you watch my channel, you'll know I do do a fair bit of walking, um, generally in a sort of urban environment. And if you can get me some hard wearing soles with good grip, um, I'll be a happy guy because I do wear them pretty hard. and. If you look at the uh, the tread depth, and we'll come in with some close-ups on all this later, but the tread depth on those is absolutely mighty. So I've got high hopes for these. They feel like a pretty pretty stiff um, rubber as well, so I think these are going to wear pretty pretty well. The other countrified factor on these, and really one of the strong points of these boots, um, and one of the reasons I've picked these up, is the welt. So we're kind of probably familiar with the Goodyear welt, resolable, all those sort of things. Um, and before on Red Wing Boots, I've also f uh, featured a Norwegian welt, uh, which has almost got a, a secondary uh, leather skirt just to sort of keep the uh, water away from the structure of the boot. These are something even more unusual than a Norwegian welt. These are um, 
what would traditionally be called in a sort of American sort of parlance, um, a stitch down construction. Um, these are actually uh, originally uh, Dutch uh, design and I'll probably get the pronunciation wrong, but a veldschoen. So that means a field shoe. And basically the, the whole of the upper is formed around the last and rather than wrapped underneath, the, uh, the skirt of the leather, if you will, comes out around the edge here. And you can see uh, the color matched um, edging there. And that forms a very, very strong barrier against the uh, the water, so it's not getting in under the structure of the shoe, it's it's beading on the edge here, and this is apparently a very, very good waterproof design. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. Um, great little bit of stitching detailing going on around here, and as I say, we're going to come in for some close-ups, but yeah, a nicely detailed boot, um, perfect, very fine stitching throughout, and looking really good. So, Let's get in for a few close-ups close here. Um, first of all, the leather, the depth of colour, that burgundy, it already has a nice patina, sort of the dark, darker accents on the cap of the toe there. Really very, very nice. Um, the first impressions of these boots is that they're quite plain. Um, obviously, I picked up online this, this nice sort of, I'd call it a uh, an Oxford-style detailing two thin uh, pairings of parallel stitches, really nice, very fine, very perfect across the toe there. Um, but the more you look at them, the more you see little bits of flare and sort of flamboyant details which might not stick out to the, the sort of casual spectator, but once you start to get these in hand you realise where the money goes and where the detailing features. So this um, detail on the quarter here, really beautiful. Um, it kind of reminds me of this sort of the flair that you get on a, a Western shirt, but still very, very subtle. The, the stitching here, that arc, just has a certain extra little detail, little box stitch sort of part way around there. Up the, uh, the heel stay, I guess you'd call it, uh, just a single stitch but really very, very nicely detailed, very fine stitch, handmade in the UK, really rather beautiful. So the lacing on this, um, I've gone for a, a simple straight. Now, I think it looks quite smart. Um, one thing about it is that we don't have an equal number of holes, so you do have to have a, a crossover at the top there, um, but I think it adds to the, the look of these. Um, on the soles, you've got this wonderful It's Hide um, Commando sole, nicely stitched. On the forefoot, the, uh, the heel unit is of course uh, glued and nailed. You can see on the side here, you can see the build-up of the, uh, the sole, the, uh, the sort of mid-sole leather, and then finally the welt, which, as I said earlier, is actually the upper um, built out and stitched down, so that's really, you can see that a bit better now in the close-up, but that Veldenschuen um, field shoe stitch down um, design, really sort of quite common in sort of older high quality um, English hiking boots, um, not something you see often these days and so really really interesting, I'm interested to see how that leather sort of patinas over time. Uh, I'm going to do a, sort of a mix of um, black shoe polish and burgundy shoe polish just to get that sort of depth of colouring. Um, so we'll see how, how that patina is. I suspect that will darken more than the rest of the shoe. Obviously that is to allow a, a good waterproof uh, barrier on the edge here. It's also very, very flexible um, and easy to resole. Um, the welt stitching, nice fine stitch there. So once you start dealing with quality boots, you start looking at the sort of the regularity of the stitch, the angle of the stitch, and to my eye, the stitching on these shoes, absolutely perfect, brilliant quality control, really nice quality craftsmanship. So open up this boot just so you can see the, the liner. The liner is absolutely buttery smooth, uh, leather lined of course, 
Um, you've got the, the branding on the inside there, Windermere, the sizing, the serial number, and you've got a nice little uh, insert there on the heel. Herring shoes, handcrafted by Chini. So Chini being one of our premier makers in the UK. And if you sort of peer down the uh, down the boot there, a little bit hard to pick up, but inside you've got a, a further leather insole, branded, made in England leather insole. Little bellows tongue there. So of course these are a, a boot with a sort of countryside outdoors sort of origin. A little bit of extra waterproofing. Nothing crazy, but of course you're probably not going to go hiking in these, but if you were out in the field somewhere, they do very well. Nice little detail there where the, the toe box, or vamp rather, attaches to the tongue. Yeah, very, very nicely detailed boots. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, first impressions are exceptional on these uh, sort of fully English made boots. Um, really, really nice detailing fantastic attention to detail and quality um, the leather feels absolutely fantastic so i'm really looking forward to getting these um, broken in and seeing how they develop over time um, one interesting thing about these is of course it's a burgundy boot um, a new color for my collection really um, and another reason why they're picked up now to get that real depth of color what I'm thinking, and what I think is conventionally done, is to alternate um, a burgundy polish and a black polish. So I'm going to try out a few products on that, see how I can get this sort of to patina really nicely, uh, make, maintain that depth of colour over time. Okay, well I hope that's useful. Um, if you want to check out these boots, I will put the link below. Um, as I say, um, lots and lots of boots on my channel. I love quality footwear. Um, both the sort of um, more formal boots and sort of leisure boots like Red Wings, um, Thoroughgood, that sort of stuff. Um, if you like that sort of stuff, check out the channel. Um, also cover everyday carry, fainting pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Um, cycling, running, guitar. Check out, you might share some other common interests. If you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed. So I hope that's useful and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.